and we have the Italian cooperation that has upgraded Laka Hospital by providing laboratory and theatre equipment at uh, the health facility. Now, the Archbishop of Gulu, Archdiocese, that is John Baptist Todama, launched and dedicated this newly rehabilitated structure. Laka Hospital provides health services to patients from many parts of Uganda and the neighboring countries. It is now said to be at international standards. Even on behalf of the people who are beneficiaries from Sudan and uh, Congo, I would like to say big thank you. St. Mary Lato Hospital Gulu was sanctuary to several night commuters during the 20-year-old insurgency that destabilized northern Uganda in the recent past. Its facilities were consequently overstretched because of a big number of clientele. Yes, we have seen now that uh, malnutrition has gone down maybe because the camps have closed, people have gone down to their villages to able to produce more food, and also malaria cases have gone down. The Italian corporation has furnished the hospital facility with modern equipment aimed at strengthening health service delivery in the sub-region. Italian doctors will keep on coming, uh, taking advantage of their holidays in Italy to come and intervene in the hospital on a very regular basis, but this is definitely going to be a, a truly Ugandan hospital uh, integrated in the national, in the national system. Government contributes only 4% of the national health budget towards not-for-profit religious-based hospitals in the country. The contribution from the government to Uganda to, uh, to the, all the KNFP sector, including all the hospitals uh, and even uh, health, health units, is around 19 billion uh, Uganda shillings per year. It's put uh, on use of the KNFP structure which serves uh, almost 50 percent of the people of Uganda. Latol Hospital was established in 1959 by the Komboni sisters. Currently, the hospital attends to an estimated 700 patients daily. Lacho has strong and established linkages with the Italian corporation. Hans Chaze, UBC News.